Riveting content, empowering your life. Welcome to The Sphere. This episode is sponsored by Elite Dental Wellness. At Elite Dental Wellness, Dr. Ashandra Batiste understands that one of the biggest obstacles is dental fear. The vision at Elite Dental Wellness is to ensure every patient is treated with respect, ultimate care, patience, and love. Call us today to make an appointment at area code 713-789-8680. Looking to advertise? Join the Sphere's vast demographic reach of thousands of people all over the world. Send an email today to advertise at thesphere.tv or call us at area code 832 772-7789. KOG and Company. Are your unique gifts and talents changing the world? Do you desire to belong to a community of unity? Visit KOGPassion.com to learn more about the Unleash Your Dopeness movement. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Money Factor here on The Sphere. This is LaShonda Johnson, Certified Financial Educator and also the co-founder of the Houston Housewives of Finance. So welcome back to Money Mondays. And today, uh, man, we've got a very special show lined up for you guys. I'm so excited because we're going to talk about some, some, some cool topics today. But my guest co-host today... Man, um, this is someone that I've known a little bit over a year now. Is yeah. it a little bit over a year now? Yeah. yeah. So, and uh, we're going to talk about wealth and health today. And, uh, she, you know, we're going to talk about some exciting things that are coming up um, real soon here within about a week. Two week and a half? Two weeks. Coming okay. <laughs> so, I, I'm hoping that I don't chop up her name incredibly too much. <laughs> uh, but I do know the first name. I got it down. It's Uchina. Uchenna. 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 Yeah. Oh, I'm, hey, Uchenna. <laughs> <laughs> Uchenna Amin, Amenaha. Amenaha. Okay. Yeah. yeah I got it right somewhere. Okay. So, welcome, welcome, thank you, welcome. Thank you. I'm glad to be here this morning. Yes, I'm good to see, good to see you again. Yes. Again. So, <laughs> we uh, we follow each other on Facebook. Mm -hmm. um, she reached out to me over a year ago mm -hmm. uh, when she was hosting her very first, and I didn't even know it was your very first. Yeah, the first year. She does such an excellent job with this expo that I thought that this was something that had been going on for years. Thanks. So, <laughs> what expo am I talking about? I'm talking about the Health and Black Business Expo. So, yes. tell us about it. All right. So, the Health and Black Business Expo, we're about to have our second annual one coming up on August 4th. And it's a really amazing event. First of all, it is completely free to the community. So, um, no reason to come, why you can't come out. It's from 1 to 6, August 4th. And um, it's a real unique experience because we're going to have vendors. We are going to have speakers. Um, LaShonda is going to be one of our speakers and a vendor at the event. So, come on out. Stop by her booth. And then she's going going to be talking and sharing some information on how you can stay healthy and wealthy um and but it's just an amazing all-day festival music dancing live music all all types of stuff and it is completely free yes and when you talk about first of all she said amazing it is amazing last year um you know we were also vendors at the event and man i was blown away at uh just how incredibly well it was put together Thanks. it was <laughs> entertainment um Food, I mean, and we're talking about healthy food. So it was health and black business yes. expo. So mm -hmm. it was healthy food. It was um, all kinds of ethnic dancing going on. It was mm -hmm. um, exercising, Zumba classes, a lot of information, a lot of vendors. Incredible. So mm -hmm. can you just tell us a little bit how you put this together, why you put it together, how you put it together, and what prompted you to do something like this? Like awesome. Um, so I have always kind of been a health enthusiast. So I um teach dance fitness classes. I teach Zumba. I teach an Afro Kari class, which is like Zumba but has like an Afro Caribbean beat to it. And so um I always wanted to do something for the community to promote health and wellness. And the black business part of it came into play when 
um, there was, um, you know, we started to see a lot of issues in the news about misrepresentation or mistreatment of people of color. And a lot of times you hear the solution to that, to combat that is not only to protest, but through economic empowerment. Yes. And so by putting those together, um, I started to come up with this concept for the Health and Black Business Expo. And um, whenever you're doing something, so a huge venture, you can never really do it alone. You need a team. So mm-hmm. shout out to the team, Christy, Crystal, <laughs> Danny, um, uh, of um, Queen's Reflection. Shout out to um, Keisha of Island Printed Leggings, um, an amazing team that um, – came together and helped to put this venture on. So we reached out to not just help vendors. So you're going to come out and you're going to see people who have um, boot camps. And you're also going to see people who sell jewelry. So it's an array of health products as well as general business vendors that do things in the community and sell natural hair products and sell jewelry so it's a whole array of shopping if you want to shop and if you want to exercise we got all types of people coming out and um i'll share if you go to the website you can check out our lineup it's a really amazing lineup we have it is um shout out to um broke wine fitness they started out in new york um the creator of this workout has danced with people like sean paul Beyonce, Jennifer Lopez, they're here in Houston and they have a really amazing workout that they do to promote self-confidence. Um, shout out to beautiful brown baby doll. If you're a YouTube head, she's going to be in the building. <laughs> she is in a phenomenal woman who uses her platform to talk about um, health and wellness, how she lost 100 pounds and she's kept it off. Um, she's a professor and a mental health coach. Um, well, one of the things I wanted to say is that... Um, I, I like that you, it's free. Yes. Once, mm-hmm. once uh, you know, w- for once, um, you know, we're able to do something where mm-hmm. there's not, there's not a fee associated so you can really come out and enjoy this thing so she did this last year for free she's Mm -hmm. still bringing it for free Mm -hmm. and i like that because then you know we we do a lot of things also for free and what this does is completely eliminate people from having excuses no excuses there's no (laughs) excuses and so all you need to do is take some time. So the time frame of this event is going on from 1 p.m. to 6 to p.m. 6 p.m. And so it you can it's it's also come and go. So if you can't come mm-hmm. at one, you can come at two, mm-hmm. whatever the case may be. But you do need to come out. Yes. And so we're going to talk a little bit more about um, the the expo. But I wanted to to dive into an article real quick. Mm-hmm. And so your timing is is right on point with coming up with something like this because of the articles that we're going to share with you this morning. The first one I want to go to is talking about nine black health disparities Mm -hmm. that you should definitely know about. Mm -hmm. And so when we talk about wealth and health, it's a very serious topic. You know, of course, we need to build wealth in our community, um, in all communities, not just the African-American community. But um, we also need to take a serious look at our health, mm-hmm. you know, and in the things that we need to do to correct, you know, the way that we're behaving with our health. Yes. Important. And so, um, uh, but before we jump into the article, I do want to go ahead and talk about our first uh, sponsor um, in the show, and that is Elite Dental Wellness. So we're talking about health. You know, mm-hmm. we need to make sure we keep our, our teeth on clean yeah. <laughs> you know <laughs> we gotta we gotta take teeth care of that important. as well <laughs> your teeth are important i mean it's it's it represents you your smile and everything so this portion of the show is sponsored by elite dental wellness at elite dental wellness our vision is to create a welcoming practice that will offer exceptional dental care and a lifetime of dental wellness we're committed to the finest possible oral care and the overall health and well-being of our patients mm. Elite Dental Wellness is built upon a foundation of integrity, expertise, and service. Through our commitment to modern dentistry, continuing education, and friendly atmosphere, we strive to make our patients feel that they are part of our family. Dentistry can be scary, daunting, and uncomfortable. Dr. Batiste and her team work tirelessly to ensure your comfort. Make your appointment today with Dr. Ashandra Batiste at Elite Dental Wellness by calling 713 789 8680. All right, 
right. Shout out yeah, to gotta keep your wellness. gotta keep your grill uh, <laughs> shining. Yes. You know that's very important. So let's go back to this article, which mm-hmm. is talking about the nine disparities. Um, the first one it says young Black Americans are more likely to develop and die from chronic diseases mm-hmm. that won't uh, that don't show up in white Americans until older age. Yeah, and and that's really true. Um, One of the things I'm currently, I'm also an educational researcher, and um, this past summer I've been doing some research on the 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 difference. they call it in the research world the allosthetic load, and that's the amount of stress that you um, deal with throughout your lifetime and how that affects you. And a lot of the studies that I'm looking at are comparing um, African Americans to European Americans and comparing that disparity and, and, and talking about in relating to finance how it's so mm-hmm. related to social economic Absolutely. status. Absolutely. Absolutely. And um, there's a big connection to that, and it has to do with education. Absolutely. And knowing what oh you need gosh. to do. I and, cannot even. I mean, hello. Know, can we get some hand claps <laughs> over here? That's a, that's a big thing. Knowing what you need to do and, and making that, a, putting that a priority. Yes. Making it a priority. Absolutely. So it's it's you know that she's talking about education. We talk about education all the time. Obviously, that's that's what we impart here at the Money Factor, and in all the other forms that we that we do our workshops and everything. We're talking about education. Mm-hmm. So it, it's funny that you talked about. Stress, Mm. you know, financial problems is a huge part of stress. (laughs) And so um, and and, and the thing of it is, is that those things are controllable. We have the power Mm. to control those things, but we do need the education. Yes. And so Mm -hmm. that's why the money factor tuning in and sharing this show and also participating in forums which can broaden your horizons as far as how to be a better personal money manager how to make sure that you equip yourself mm-hmm. with the things that you need to learn to make sure that the do- your dollar stretches and grows for you. Yeah. Be a part of those things, especially when they're complimentary. They're free. Mm, yes. <laughs> you know, there's really no excuse for that. So let's go back to the article. We're going to mm-hmm. take a look at what else the article has to say. It says black people are more likely to die of all cancers combined than any other racial or mm-hmm. ethnic wow. group. Wow. That's scary. It is. So why should you come out to the to the to the uh, health and black business expo so you can learn? Yes. We're still talking about education. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of education that's going to take place there. Yeah. And I think sometimes with finance and health, it can be very scary. And I want to acknowledge that it can be overwhelming. It can be scary. But that fear, once you get past that fear, there are action steps you can do to whether you're making six figures or whether you're making just a little bit for you to take those steps to get out of the situation you're in. Um, someone told me last year, I was like, hey, you know, I missed you at the expo. And they were like, well, you know, I'm not really that healthy. And you don't have to be super healthy to come. <laughs> no. You know, it's a festival. It's no. fine. It's education. It's for, it's for everyone. And so when you walk in or we're not going to be like you. You're not healthy. It's all fine. It's all supportive environment. Get that information, whether it's financial information or health information. Be willing to get that because if we if if it wasn't possible, then no one would accomplish it. Absolutely. So get, get moved past that fear. My favorite thing to say here lately is the no judgment zone. Yes. Okay. <laughs> no one's judging anyone. Okay. Yeah. Because we've all made mistakes with our health. Mm-hmm. And we've made major mistakes with our wealth, you yeah. know, um, or lack thereof. Mm-hmm. So this is not about, um, you know, and, and and it's funny how people have that attitude, too, when it comes to uh, building wealth or sitting down to do a personal financial yeah. strategy. Oh, I'm not where I want to be yeah. as soon as I get myself <laughs> together. So I'm not well, no, it's okay. if you can get yourself <laughs> together. I think you would be together. Yeah. You know, the thing is get help, get the assistance and get the education Mm -hmm. so that you can make the mindset shift. Yes. Because it is a mindset. It's a mindset to and it takes discipline Mm -hmm. and it also takes consistency to be able to implement these things. But you got to know what you need to implement. Yeah. And you also need to know where you are. And you need to know where you need to, you know, where you need to go. So you have to do some planning, planning for both your wealth and health. Yes. Yeah. So when we're talking about health, that's very important um, to be able to understand how to make a shift 
in your diet, Mm -hmm. in exercise, uh, you need to understand how to do that. And you do need help and accountability. I have to say that. Definitely. definitely. So let's go back to the article. Um, You want to take the next one? Okay, number three, black women are over three times as likely to die from a pregnancy-related issue as white women. Ew. Yeah, that's tough. Wow. Um, I don't even know what to say about Mm -hmm. that. And, you know, again, it's something going on internally. I'm not a physician, Mm -hmm. although I want to give a shout-out to Dr. Terea Richmond. Mm -hmm. Because she's, you know, all about women's health care. And, you know, that that's something that we're going to talk about in through our wealth and health program. But you guys, that statistic is staggering. It is. And, you know, one of the things that is really important is when you get um, when you when you're pre- prior to getting pregnant, you can exercise and work out. And studies show if you work out and you're, you have a good health regimen do prior to even when you get pregnant, you can still keep that up. So, um, again, it's a lot of these things stem from dealing with education mm-hmm. and preparing yourself. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a physician, um, Dr. Von Jones, and her practice is really unique because she doesn't just deal with um, regular prenatal care. There's a whole wellness to it. There's a diet that goes along to mm-hmm. it. And so not and taking those steps and making sure that you're taking your vitamins and your and stress is a big thing. That it all money, Man. health, it all goes back to okay, stress. First of all, well, let me and just how say to manage that, that. stress kills <laughs> and <laughs> stress a kills. lot of this is based on stress stress High levels of stress. stress stress okay so i'm gonna be completely stressed out if you guys don't go this minute this moment right now <laughs> those of you who are watching us on facebook facebook live is ending in 15 minutes okay uh i mean we're only on here for 15 minutes which mm-hmm. that time is about to expire so but if you're watching us live on instagram hey you can still watch the whole show mm-hmm. But Facebook Live uh, watchers, you have to go right now, this moment, this second, and you have to go subscribe. Okay, while you're there, here's what we would like for you to do. We would like for you to write a review. Please go to iTunes, write a review. We want to rate high in iTunes. This information is very valuable. Mm -hmm. A lot of people can benefit from it. Speaking of the information being valuable, we don't know who you know, so we need you to share the show. You can share the show while it's going on, and you can share it after. This information is going to be available to you after we are not live. By subscribing, you can go back and watch the show in its entirety. Now, we would like for you also to, if you can, donate, okay? We provide this show to you completely uh, and absolutely complimentary. However, if you'd like to support our cause, we'd like it, we'd love it, you can donate one time Or you could also be a regular patron and donate all the time if you like. Either way, we love it. So please go do that right now. Subscribe, write a review, share, and donate. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. All right. We we definitely appreciate (laughs) it. But the show is not ending. We're continuing. Okay? So let's go back to this article. That's that's really alarming about the pregnancy situation in in African-American women. But let's look at number four. What does number four have to say? Since black children are are also more likely to die before their first birthday when compared to others. What, what's going on with us? You know, and it's uh, one of the things I feel wow. like, I think this article is bringing some really pressing issues forward. Um, and I haven't read this in, in its entirety, but I do want to say that a lot of times when we present these statistics, we all, and that, that's what we're doing here. We're trying to come up with relevant solutions to correct, these problems. Correct, correct. And um, not just blast um, all, a list of reasons why, oh, you're suffering and you're in danger. Um, so with this, with the the young, st- one of the, it really goes to number three. The, the moms, if the moms are not super it's healthy, healthy then the it's going to affect gonna the baby because the baby's immune system initially comes from, from the, the mom. mom. So um, those things very much go so go hand in hand with one another. Um, and just being a support system for those around us, even, you know, and if you know someone who is dealing with some stress and they are in the process of being pregnant, about to have a baby, there are churches there are outlets there are support groups and it's okay to go and use these resources yes. and these facilities yes um and and that 
could contribute to some of the problems. Absolutely. I can do it all on my own. Yes. I got it all on my own instead of reaching out to the systems and support that are available for you in the community. And in a lot of the situations when um, there's single moms or, you know, you know, single family uh, pregnancies, that's already a stressful mm-hmm. situation that, that has come about. But you're correct. You have to understand how important it is to make sure that you're healthy because your child's life is depending on it. Yeah. You know, and then after our children are born, still our children's life is dependent on us and what we do and how we control um, our environment, um, you know, and everything that's that's involved in that environment, including, you know, um, finances, including our health, mm-hmm. including um, our economical situation, including our social mm-hmm. environment. All of that affects everybody. Yeah. And so we, we cannot act as if these things are absent. And uh, you can go back. Um, we, we're going to actually share this on our website, which is at hhoffinance.com. Uh, we're going to share this article and this, this podcast there. So uh, if you're watching us, then you can see our Facebook is shared there. And you can definitely go back and, and uh, take a look at this information because we're going to post it there. And I do want to say um, quickly here, one of the th- issues that we're talking about, uh, all these issues that we're talking about, you know, we're also addressing these things in our foundation. Mm. And uh, I don't know if we could put that up real quick. I didn't add that. But um, our foundation is um, H-O-F foundation.com. Mm. And uh, we have a Facebook page and we also have a, a, um, a, 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 um, website Mm -hmm. and what our goal to do through this foundation is to be able to address all of these issues we believe that education is a gateway to change Mm -hmm. and uh, what another thing that we're going to be doing is partnering with people like yourself and many Mm -hmm. others to be able to bring all forms of education Mm -hmm. to the community to help empower people Mm -hmm. and enrich their lives through education all forms you know we believe that people want to be better and they mm-hmm. want to advance those that do through the foundation we're going to be bringing all sorts of subject matter experts in various a- areas so that you can you know become entrepreneurs mm-hmm. become homeowners become you know investors in the community you know become a strong uh, asset to the economical structure of your community mm-hmm. your community our community because we're, we're all living in these communities and we need to be able to give back in a positive way and contribute in a positive way and be a part of it in a positive way mm-hmm. so that's our foundation and i'm very excited about that you can get involved you can donate and you can volunteer so make sure you go check out the website and you can get in touch with us through there through info at h a h OFFoundation.com. Yes. There's so many HHFs and OFs <laughs> and all of that. So so getting back to this article, let's go back to this article. Mm-hmm. And so as I was saying, having something like this is right on time because mm-hmm. this builds the case why it's yeah. necessary. And it builds the case why you need to come. Okay, so you need to mark it on your calendar. Yes. It's August the 4th, 1 to 6 p.m. Yes. Okay, and uh, tell us the address. Um, the address, it's at the Evo Catholic Center on Creek Bend in Fondren, Houston, Texas, 77071. It's in Southwest Houston, Southwest so that's Houston. definitely um, an accessible location. Mm-hmm. There's not, you know, parking issues. No, free parking. It's free park. You guys, no yeah. excuse. <laughs> no whatsoever. No excuse, okay? And I like that it's a family event. Mm-hmm. Children can come, bring yes. your kids out. Uh, really, you know, make it a day, uh, put it on your calendar. Um, and then in, in just a second, we're going to talk about the the mini sessions. Oh, OK, mm-hmm. let's jump back into this article. So if you're watching us, you can see it. Um, we'll bring that back up here in just a moment. But let's let's jump back into this article. So mm-hmm. number five, a higher portion of black people are newly diagnosed with HIV, living with it or diagnosed with AIDS. Uh, than any other race or ethnicity. Mm. So, you know, we got to wrap it up. Yeah. 
You know, I remember when the campaign was out about wrap it up and, you know, I think we've gotten away from it. There's mm-hmm. we've gotten away from the conversations about HIV because there's medication and people are living with it now. But still, who wants to live with that yeah. when it's preventable? If it's prevent definitely it's preventable. And, and, also, and a lot of things I someone posted a Facebook comment and they were like, should you would you be offended if someone asked you to get tested for STDs prior to you becoming? Coming intimate with that person and um, some people said oh I would be offended and some people said oh well I would only ask if they've been with a lot of people how do and you that, know and you don't know you so don't that know. should be a common practice we have no idea we're in the hookup generation yes you meet oh somebody gosh. and then it goes down like that there are some steps you need, need to, to take, take to be a responsible Absolutely. adult one of those steps is making sure that they are you know their status you know, making yes. sure that you're using protection. Absolutely. Everybody's so quick to say, oh, you know, hookup generation, women empowerment. We can, you know, we can be aggressive too, man. All of that is amazing, but you need to do all of that in that 2018 movement when you be wise. Know your status. Listen. Know their status. Use protection. Listen. You guys, listen. Listen up, okay? I want to say this. One of um, my... Uh, clients who's a physician she said you know LaShonda I really love the fact that you guys are doing wealth and health as it relates to health people are not talking about it Mm -hmm. but STDs have gone up like majorly gone up across the board across the board not just HIV but all of them and so she says you know there needs to be some conversations about that and uh, hey you guys uh, hook up or hook out I mean I don't Mm -hmm. care how you do it but you need to be safe, yeah. okay? And uh, we can't assume, oh, that, that this person's been with one or two. You yeah. know, We don't know these <laughs> days. We don't know. You and don't. so if you don't want to ask, then just make sure you protect yourself, mm-hmm. okay? And, of course, you can just be abstinent, too. That's a solution. That's also, That's also a solution. Foolproof. Okay, <laughs> that's foolproof. <laughs> Nothing's happening on that end. So let me go into our next sponsor, which is my favorite, the Sphere. Okay, so... Um, Man, I tell you, if you have a business, if you have any type of um, uh, need to advertise, then you need to be here at The Sphere, okay? So do you have a need to reach out to thousands of people across the world to build your brand or sell your product? If so, get your product placement and advertisement needs handled right here at The Sphere. We, are a, uh, we offer a wide variety of content delivery platforms, including iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, YouTube, and Stitcher. Plus, we have a vast demographic reach within the United States, as well as modern countries across the globe. Our enriched content and inspiring dialogue, coupled with your strategic ad, is surely to hit the mark every single time. Call us today at area code 832-772-772. 7789 or send an email over to advertise at the sphere.tv. So, mm-hmm. man, I remember when we started yeah. the sphere in uh, Gary's home. Oh, really? Wow. Yes. <laughs> and so now, I mean, if you look at that wall, you guys can't see the wall, <laughs> but that that wall represents all of the people who have sat in these seats or any oh, of the wow. studio seats here. So, it's so proud of Gary Lee. Shout out top to, to bottom, top to signatures bottom. Signatures You're going to get to sign that wall. <laughs> and uh, you, so you can be scoping out a spot um, okay. to, to do that. So, man, incredible things happening here at the Sphere. If you uh, are looking for information, valuable information that you can use, I mean, this – The network is loaded with it. So go check it out at thesphere.tv, okay? Uh, And if you are a business owner or anyone that needs to advertise, you need to be here. All right? So let's go back to the article, see what else the article has to say. Number six. All right, number six. Many other sexually transmitted infections also disproportionately affect the black community. You just said that. Yeah. We, it's ties we, we back just to it ties five. right back into it. <laughs> so again, you guys be careful and like you said, be wise. Yeah. You know, um, you know, things can happen in the moment, but the consequences of them can mm-hmm. last us for a lifetime and have adverse effects on us. Mm-hmm. So let's be wise. Let's go on to number seven. Number seven, black people in the US are more likely to have mental health problems mm-hmm. than any other people. 
Wow. And I think it has to do a lot with the stigma. And um, we have some amazing people who will be at the expo who will be talking about breaking those myths about mental health and, you know, uh, praying it away. And I, I believe in prayer, but I also believe that, you know, we have these physicians that are here and they've got amazing tools and resources and medication and counseling that we should take advantage of. But um, there's a stigma. You know, it was a, a viral video that went around a few years ago and it was a great girl on the subway and she was obviously having like some kind of mental episode and she was just going off and people began to share the video and it was humorous but I'm asked uh, and, and and but if you saw someone having a seizure you'd call 911 yes. so if you see someone who's going through chemo you feel empathy for them yes. but when you see someone having a mental breakdown like it's, it's, it's humorous and that's why people can't get help yeah. because they're it's ridiculed not, it's not funny and um, when we're talking about mental health, um, I mean, I know for me, um, it's personally uh, something that's in my family. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I've seen fam uh, a family member grow up with, with, I mean, grow up seeing family members that have it. And, you know, and um, my, my uncle and my mom, uh, she, out of all her siblings, she, she made it a point to, to help my uncle. Mm -hmm. And uh, she felt like, man, I I'm not going to watch sit here and uh, watch my brother, yeah. you know, um, have these have these issues and I not reach out to him and help him. Mm -hmm. And I just want to say, you guys, this is something that we sweep under the rug. But a lot of the issues that happen in our country um, today have to do with mental health. Yeah. You know, we see people killing, going and shooting up schools and things like mm -hmm. that. These, these things, you cannot be right mentally mm -hmm. making some of the decisions that you make. But I like that you say other things we are more empathetic towards. Yeah. Um, we need to be empathetic towards mental health. And uh, I know I've had some conversations with people um, in different forums about mental health. And it's something that we really need to take seriously. Even, you know, um, I, I want to say even life insurance companies, mm -hmm. they, have a, they have a mechanism to protect you if your your policies lapse because of mental health mm, and that. yes absolutely and so um also mental health can affect your ability to be able to also build wealth mm. and uh, it can affect your ability to be able to protect yourself and your family so you know and some of the things that we dis dismiss like mm -hmm. depression yeah. it could lead to more serious issues and so again something we really need to take seriously i really love it that you're going to have somebody there yes, to address that so let's go on to the the next topic or the next one there number eight all right number eight more black children kill themselves than white children and it's rate and it's a rising trend and this i didn't know i yeah, didn't that know that shocking you know that's to me. that's shocking because um you know if you're African American, you know we have these things like, oh, black people don't do that. Right. Oh, black people don't do that. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, black people are killing themselves. Yeah. And so, just as well as every every other race, but it's saying more likely here. So again, you know, you can go back and check this article out because there is um, not just you know the statistic there, but there's a little there's inscriptions or some verbiage about this, so you can go back and read it. We just don't have time to do it today. But, um, yes, do go back and read this article. It's a very, very mm, good definitely. article. And uh, so we want to go on to the last one that's included there, number nine. Finally, black people are a victim of violence at far higher rates than the general population. Now, that statistic I'm aware of. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, um, you know, black on black crime you know, that's been going on for, for years. That's been going on for some time now. And uh, so I'm aware of it. But again, how do we reverse these things? All about education. Definitely. And mm -hmm. when we when we look at these stats, one of the things that I, I do want to kind of be careful of as we look at stats focusing on African-American community, it's not meant to tear down or to say that no. this is a worse off Absolutely group. Absolutely not. You know, um, there are other 
there are other issues that different groups of populations struggle with. So yes. these are just some that are particularly um, affect, have, us. affect us, um, but not in a way to say, like, this group is better than that group. So no. I just kind of want to put that out there. No, I do want to um, make sure yeah. I enforce that yeah. with you. That's a disclaimer. Mm-hmm. It just happens to be that, you know, the event that's coming up is right. the, you know, Health and Black yes. Business uh, Expo. But we're, we're talking about these topics because... They're uh, real. They, they're real. Yeah. <laughs> and it's tough. It, they're, they're tough, tough conversations. To about, but you, somebody's got to um, have a conversation. But we got to put it on the table and deal with it. And a lot of the violent issues, um, it stems from, it's multiple different reasons when we look at them. It could come from some people will blame it on the music. Some people will blame it on society. There's multiple different reasons why we have these high incidences of, of violence and Really, it goes back to if you dig deep and you dig deep, it, dig deeper. It goes back to a lot of times you see these stats very high in areas that are impoverished or so or um, at a disproportionate number mm-hmm. of people who are not getting the education they need. And so that's why we are here to combat these. Bring about awareness. Bring about awareness to bring mm-hmm. about education to increase entrepreneurship because these are all different ways that it doesn't directly talk about the high pregnancy rate uh the struggles that black women have during their pregnancy but it will affect it if there are more um people in the community who are catering to those needs absolutely so um, absolutely. It, it's all ties in together it all ties in together. and it really does take a village it takes yeah. a village everybody has to be um like i said a a effective part of their community a a effective contributor Mm -hmm. in whatever way you know and so we all have our talents Mm -hmm. and so um now i the next article i want to move into is 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 talking about um wealth okay um we know that it's a problem in our community as far as wealth building is concerned and i want to say that that is something that i'm very very passionate about about first of all, I want to help everyone, but obviously, I'm very uh, dedicated to my community. Mm-hmm. You know, I want to see our community to raise up financially, and it's not that we can't; it's that we have not, and we haven't. Some of us have the information, mm-hmm. and we won't. And so, you know, that's why you've got to get into the workshops that we're Mm -hmm. offering we're offering these workshops in in several locations Mm -hmm. they are free yeah uh you know we're offering the saving your future book free the workshops free Mm -hmm. you know you're able to watch this show free you know it's it's coming to you through social media which you can watch on a computer wherever you have internet access that's everywhere you can go to a coffee shop and watch this Mm. um you know it there is no excuse so we have got to change our mindset about the places that we are and when it comes to wealth you know that's something that you know at the houston housewives of finance official we're extremely passionate about Mm. And we're, you know, we've been doing, this is our 110th episode that we're talking about (laughs) money and building wealth, Mm -hmm. you know, and and I love it now that we're combining the two. Um, So I want to shoot real quickly over to, we do have a wealth and health um, Facebook page. You guys, Mm -hmm. you got to go like it um, because we're not only addressing the health, wealth, wealth issue, we're also addressing you know, being healthy. Mm-hmm. And so if you go check that out, uh, go like it on Instagram. Uh, we have an Instagram page and we also have a Facebook page. Both of them, you can follow them as well as following the Houston Housewives of Finance official. If it doesn't say official, it's <laughs> not us. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and so go follow those pages. Check out our website. You can call us at 1-844-700-4463. You can reach out to us on uh, info at HoustonHousewivesOfFinance.com or BillWealth at HHOFinance.com. We have so many. Google us, okay? You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook. I mean, there is, again. So many ways to reach. So many ways (laughs) to reach out. And our services are complimentary. We just want to be able to sit down with you, help you to figure out where you are and where you need to go and go through the journey with you. Mm. So you've got to get on the road, though, okay? You can't go anywhere at home, okay? 
So, and, and when you leave home, if you don't know where you're going, you need directions. Right. That's what a personal financial strategy will do for you. You can reach out to me personally. I'm LaShonda J at HoustonHousewivesOfFinance.com. You can also text us. We have a text. I mean, whatever. Are you kidding? <laughs> you can text Bill. Uh, you can text Ask H-H-O-F. Okay. All one word. Ask H-H-O-F to 31996 okay and we're looking forward to being at the expo because we're going to get to speak to you guys and so before we jump into this next article about wealth Mm -hmm. uh let's talk about the mini sessions so i'm excited it's a new um uh, last year we just had the vendors and the shopping and everybody on stage and all that excitement but um, a lot of people said we want to add an educational piece so you have options when you come through you can do the shopping and in the entertainment that's going to be on stage or you can go into a more intimate setting talk to some experts and get some one-on-one feedback on some really amazing topics from finance free legal advice we talked about in the article about the pregnancy and the issues in the african-american community we have a certified doula which is a someone who deals with pregnancy pre and postnatal health of the mother she'll be there giving out um, education and advice so the mini sessions are a great way for you to they're going to be quick and short get in and the experts are going to be right there you can touch them talk to them ask questions um we're gonna be there. Johnson about finance <laughs> so it, it's going to be yes. it's a really amazing opportunity i love it that for, you added that and uh because you get to now hear specific um intentional messages mm-hmm. um yes. on the on the particular topic so please make sure you come by uh, we're going to be speaking from five, uh, five to five thirty. Yes. That's a mm-hmm. wealth and health session, and uh, I'm excited to have Dr. Mercy Edionway, who's going to be uh, the physician that's going to be talking about health issues. Uh, she's going to be talking about knowing your numbers. She's going to be talking about uh, things that you need to understand in order to be on track to building your health. Mm -hmm. And of course, I'm going to be addressing the wealth. And then, of course, you've got to come by our booth. We're going to have all kinds of information there for you that I know you're going to be able to benefit from. Uh, Last year, we we had a ball there. It It was was just fun. It was so much fun. You guys, it's so much fun. I cannot (laughs) wait. I cannot wait. I'm so excited for it. And uh, I'm so glad that we've this, you know, this is our second year being able Mm -hmm. to participate in it. And last year we were very thrilled. We were extremely pleased at the response of the community Mm -hmm. and just how well you did an excellent job. She does an excellent job. You guys You cannot (laughs) miss this. You cannot miss it. And so let me talk about our third um, sponsor. Uh, that you need to check out. This is KOG and Company. And man, we see KOG everywhere. Mm -hmm. Um, But this portion of the show is sponsored by KOG and Company. Are your unique gifts and talents changing the world? Unleash Your Dopeness is a people-empowered movement built to encourage the masses to operate outside of their fears and have the gall to recklessly pursue their dreams and passion in life. I know that's right. Okay, so join thousands of others as we unlock the greatness that dwells inside. Shop Dope Gear at KOGPassion.com. That's k o g passioncom and use coupon code DOPE for 10% off exclusive Unleash Your Dopeness apparel. Act now, sizes are selling out fast. Mm. So I just love I KOG love and her. <laughs> yeah, Unleash Your Dopeness. That's I mean, I have the hoodie. Right. So um, <laughs> when, the, when the winter comes, I can sport the hoodie. It's really great. So go get yours. But, you know, also follow KOG. KOG is actually um, one of the reasons we, we're here. You know, she uh, brought us to the attention of of gary so we're we're so thankful for her so shout out to klg she's doing incredible things and uh, we're very happy for her so now let's jump into this wealth building situation you know we got we can't close out the show with talk (laughs) without talking about wealth that's my baby okay so let's talk about wealth okay 10 proposals for eliminating the racial wealth gap Mm -hmm. there is a racial wealth gap and um this article I love because it, even though it's it was written some time ago, these things are still relevant mm-hmm. because I've done most uh, currently I've done a lot of research on also bridging the gap. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's sad that we're about 228 years behind our, you know, 
European counterparts. Yeah, we're playing catch up. That's why the expo Man, and building if we don't, if we don't, if we don't, we need is important. Hey, you guys, <laughs> listen. We're talking about 228 years in our community, mm-hmm. so we we've got a lot. You know, we got to get active quickly. Mm-hmm. We cannot just listen to these things. Yeah. We've got to apply the knowledge that's being disseminated to us. We've got to get active in taking action on changing mm-hmm. where we are. So let's look at this list. The first one. Um, we're going to scroll down, but okay, we'll we'll share this. Let's go back up just a little bit. Uh, and it says the median white household has 111,145 in wealth holdings mm-hmm. compared to 7,113 for the median black household and 8,348 for the median Latino. Mm-hmm. And I've said this to people. I've said, you know, the Latinos are actually exceeding us in wealth building. Mm-hmm. It's true. It's a fact. There's many, many articles that's written about this. So the report outlines outlines how home ownership, education, and labor market have all contributed to the wealth gap, mm-hmm. which is what our foundation is all about. And uh, let me let's scroll down to some of these because you know we're getting short on time here. But the very first one, home ownership. Mm. Okay, home ownership. When it comes to home ownership, black and Latinos are less likely to own homes and more likely to have homes of lower uh, equity and live in neighborhoods with lower home values. Mm. So, you know, we have to really address that. And, you know, I want to say to those of you who are watching us, um, please listen to me carefully when I say this. When we're looking in the African-American community, it's not that we don't own the income to do better. Right. We are just, you know, topping off. We're like topped off as a consumer. Mm. And buying things, spending, our spending is out of control. Yes. And so it's eliminating our ability to be able to invest in home ownership and invest in you know, uh, being a, an entrepreneur and invest in the economic structure of our communities. It's limiting us because we're not handling our resources appropriately. Exactly. A lot of, and I, and I love, you know, living nice, but I, one of my friends, she just purchased a home. Um, it's a Facebook friend of mine, and she talked about how she did that. She looked at her finances, and her biggest um, issue was her rent. So she cut her rent out. She actually moved in with someone for a year, so she made that sacrifice. So some of these sacrifices that we need to make, not just having, like, the super, you know, because when you're renting, it's nice to, to rent at these, you know, high-dollar amounts. But if you don't have a savings account, if you're not able to save for the future then think about that it's okay when I was renting um I had a a little I I would look for older apartments in a safe neighborhood so I had I wasn't putting so much money into my rent and that way I was able to get a condo and purchase property but I had to make that sacrifice and it's about that mindset shift that you were talking about exactly and I want to say when it comes to um, our income, the largest piece of our income is spent on our living, mm-hmm. on our where we live, you know, yeah. on housing. And so if we want to become homeowners, then, yes, we've got to take some different steps. And that's where personal financial strategy comes into play. You've got to know, OK, exactly what steps do I need to take? You know, and a lot of us just aren't willing to move yeah. with anybody. You know, a lot of other cultures, hey, we know that there's like. Yeah. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve people in the house, and it's temporary, so that when they leave, it's they can move up. They can correct. have that advancement. Correct. And we need to start embracing that if we can, you know. Yeah. And so, hey, whatever by whatever means necessary for the advancement, mm. okay. And so, you know, the thing that we say things will be greater later. Yeah. Well, things will be greater later if you take some steps now to make things greater for later. Right. Um, because, hey, Houston, you know, on the West Coast and the East Coast, definitely the cost of living yeah. is much, much higher. And ours is going up because people are beginning to migrate here because the cost of living is so affordable and I low. Think it's what, like the number one city to relocate the it third is. year in a row? A third year. Absolutely. So, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. And so if that trend continues, then we can expect yeah. housing costs to continue to increase. So, 
But, you know, it's nothing like being a homeowner. Mm-hmm. So you have to learn how to do that. So we're going to actually be doing some, through our foundation, some classes, some workshops to teach you how to do that. So do stay tuned. Go follow our Facebook page for the Housewives of Finance Foundation, Inc. We do have a Facebook page, the Housewives of Finance Foundation, Inc. And follow it because we're going to be offering free, again, free. (laughs) This word keeps popping up, but we're not responding to it. Um, You need to respond to it. Education Mm -hmm. is the key, you guys. It's going to bridge the gap Mm -hmm. between vision and possibilities. So you have to be able to jump into these things. Take some of the time, your turn up time, turn down a bit (laughs) and turn in to some place that's going to give you some education. Okay. So let's go back and look at this, this list. Next one. Um, is that number two? Yeah. Well, it's actually, yeah, we could say number two, but number one, stricter, stricter enforcement on housing and anti-discrimination laws. Yes. Well, that kind of goes back to what we're talking about. Um, that's, Again, that means we're going to have to get into our into the political realm and mm-hmm. vote. Yes. We have to get involved with who is representing us yeah. in the Senate, in the Congress, and we've got to vote. And you've got to find out who represents uh, the, the, the strategic alliances that you want to see happen to create these changes. Exactly. So you know, we, we exercising your voice um, in – in politics and in voting not just when it's a big election you know i think this last election i'm hoping that we are moving towards more change where people are more aware of the smaller elections i think that's Mm -hmm. what we've moved towards where people are you know you're seeing more people going to the polls when it's not just a presidential election exactly exactly school board when you're voting for city council judges that are being put in place in your community and your jurisdiction important Correct, because these are the things that are affect policies that are at the state level you Mm -hmm. know and your city level and so we need to get involved you know we need to have more of a voice uh politically by voting uh but you still have to understand the Mm -hmm. issues that are on the table and what type of changes are going to be needed to take place and vote appropriately okay vote 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 okay it's a right it's a privilege uh let's make sure we take advantage of it but let's exercise that privilege and that right um, adequately by understanding what's actually going on. Yeah. Okay, so let's go on to the next one. We're going to kind of speed through these. Um, authorizing Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac to reduce mortgage principal and make other loan modifications for struggling homeowners. Okay, again, that's getting involved mm-hmm. in the political scene to understand who you need to vote for that's going to push those issues. Leaving the cap on the mortgage interest rate deduction. Okay. Um, hey, what does that mean? Because typical black and Latino homeowners have homes of lesser value than typical white homeowners. They also benefit less from tax deductions. So again, get involved and mm-hmm. understand what that means for you, where you live. And then also when you're getting ready to make a decision to purchase, how do you strategically make that purchase so that it benefits you on the tax end? And also about the community, one thing I want to say is when you do purchase a home, a lot of people, they just live in their home. They don't know their neighbors. Get involved. Like I'm on my I'm a board member on the Homeowners Association. Get involved because a lot of these communities today might be valued at um, a low valuation. But as the city begins to become a booming Mm -hmm. place, Mm -hmm. look at what's going on in the third ward district. Those homes were not valued. You can't even get in there. You can't get in there. So even if you're in a community, that at the current moment the value is not where you want it to be you can rally with your neighbors and you can bring that the there's things you can do to elevate the equity in your home and those are things that you want to get involved in your community try to do yes so again a lot of these things are things that Mm -hmm. we can change just by our participation in education Mm -hmm. education first then participation you know being active in what you're you know actively putting into practice what you are learning and being educated about so let's jump back into this uh article uh education (laughs) here it is that's what we're talking about um the authors write that the disparities in education began with the policy decision not to invest in universal preschool we know Mm -hmm. that early childhood education um, produces some of the greatest benefits to the economy in terms of productivity health Uh, and skill building, okay? So the gap continues from there as residential segregation leaves black and Latino families in areas with low equity schools, 
I mean, uh, low quality schools, I'm sorry, after the initial effort to integrate public education in the wake of the Brown versus Board of Education Supreme Court decision in 1954, school segregation has increased and black and Latino students have been increasingly attending the same schools. Mm -hmm. So, you know, how can we get our children into magnet schools? Mm -hmm. So education is just not at the level of the student. It's also at the level of the parents. Right. You know, a as middle class people, we've got to learn how to get the proper education to for us to advance mm -hmm. into those who are wealth builder states. OK, and so that's why, again, participating in our workshops and things of that nature, but also making sure that you get the education so you can feed it to your children. We can't expect. Mm -hmm our systems to educate our children. Exactly. We've got to be actively involved in that process. And, and that's really important. I started off talking about the importance of preschool. Um, pre -stu minority students entering um, the public school system, I think there's a 800, million, 800 word gap between their counterparts. So a lot of times parents leave education up to the public school system and you have to get in front wrong, of your student. You have to educate them answer. financially. You have yeah. to Yes. They need to yes. come in pre-K, kindergarten, knowing their colors, knowing yes. their, knowing how to count money, money. and understand. Yes, absolutely. You know, don't just leave it up to the public school. It should be a team effort. And because, quite honestly, they're not equipped. You know, um, same thing with college. We're expecting a high school college counselor who's responsible three, four, five hundred kids mm -hmm. to make sure our students get into college appropriately that's our responsibility as parents you know get your child involved in a college planning workshop that's something else that we do you know you've there's so many areas yeah. that we can change and be better economically mm -hmm. uh if we would take the time and take it serious that's why you know i love the hashtag get serious mm -hmm. uh get educated get serious and change yeah. we, we, you know we've got to change Definitely. so um Let's go see what else. We, we, we've only got a few minutes here, but we're, they're talking about labor market, establishing direct federal job creation programs. There's a lot in this article mm -hmm. which contributes to being able to build mm -hmm. uh, wealth. But I want to jump real quickly before we close out into the Saving Your Future book, which if you don't have shame on you, <laughs> because we've been talking about this 110 episodes now. And so you've got to get this book um, because it will provide you with basic education. I love that it's not written from the standpoint of selling you anything. Mm -hmm. It's education. But on this book, in page 21, um, I want to, can you build wealth? Retirement was not always an urgent issue for people. Mm -hmm. Most of us don't often think about it, um, not to mention plan for it. You know, in the past, life expectancy was short. Older generations died young or old, uh, uh, young or didn't ha live long after retirement. So why would they worry? Because they weren't mm. even living. But that's not the case now. Thanks to medical technology, we are living mm. older, yes. longer and older. OK, so during the, ninth, uh, the 1800s, the average American had a short lifespan, topping out at 38 years old. Oh, wow. But lifespan <laughs> extends after World War II and rose to 76 in 2011. Now, the average lifespan for a woman happens to be 88 and men 86. Mm. Okay? So uh, chances are they will need a lot of money or they will face a long life of financial distress. So we're talking about stress. Yeah. If we're living longer, we're not going to live long if we're stressed out. So we've got to address these issues, okay? You can build wealth, okay? All of the things that we've talked about today factor into it. Your health, because if you're not healthy, you can't get up and go to right. produce <laughs> any wealth. So you've got to be, you've got to keep your health at its optimal um, um, limits. You've got to be good. You've got to say no to some things in order to control where you are with your health and then now you have you possess the ability to go out and earn mm. income and cash flow to be able to create wealth because it takes money money needs time you need to be getting the right rate of return and you've got to be able to beat taxes and inflation and that's a whole nother show yeah. <laughs> but before we close out here please let's talk um and give more information about mm. the expo the date the time the location um how people can reach you Okay, definitely August 4th from 1 to 6. That's Saturday, August 4th from 1 to 6. If you want to be a sponsor, register, find out more about me, 
um, all any details about the expo, you can go to our website, www.hbbexpo.com. That's www.hbbexpo.com. You can see our honorees, our sessions. Everything is on the website. So go there today. Um, it's your one-stop shop for all your questions about the Health and Black Business Expo. And I hope to see you August 4th. Absolutely. And you guys, you've got to register. Yes. It is free, but do go and register, okay? Yes. Make sure you do that. Make sure you come by and check out the Wealthy and Healthy booth. Yes. <laughs> we will be there. And make sure you come to our mini session, which is happening at uh, 5 o'clock. Mm -hmm. uh, it's happening at 5 o'clock to 5 30. 530. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So make sure you come and check that out. You've got to check it out. You've got to be there. Mm -hmm. But there's going to be so much more. Yeah. Um, I'm so looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a phenomenal. I'm excited. And uh, you guys, make sure you go follow our Facebook page, which is the Houston Housewives of Finance official. If it doesn't say official, it's not us. And make sure that you tune in next week, same time, same place, right here on The Money Factor. We'll see you then. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone.